Hey girlfriends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I'm stuck at home and so are you or at least you should be because you shouldn't be leaving the house unless it's absolutely necessary. So I thought that since we're all stuck at home during this time, it might be a good time to clean and organize and do all the things we've been putting off doing because we have to go out and do things but now we have no excuses. So I'm going to reorganize my curly hair product collection because it's getting a little out of hand and I have a lot of new products to show you guys in my collection and there's some products that need to be moved down if you know what I mean. So I'm going to now reorganize them by brand, by priority of the ones that I like the most on the top and the ones I use the least on the bottom. So let's get started. So first of all here is the before kind of mixed match not really organized labels are turned all over the place side one and here is side two a lot of different brands all mixed together they need to be organized but first I do need to move all my diva curl products because there's a lot of talk going on around them and I just don't feel comfortable using them anymore until we figure out what's really going on <laughs> Alright, so for my top shelf, I think I'm going to go with my Not Your Mother's because I have so many of their products and they're definitely my favorite. So let's move them on over to the top floor. Alright, now as you can see, I have a lot of Not Your Mother's products. But one thing I do want to point out is the Not Your Mother's Naturals that come in these pretty colored bottles. And these are the ones that you can count on to be sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. Now there are Not Your Mother's products that do contain silicone, though those are usually in white bottles. The only exception would be these products right here, which is the Curl Talk line. But all the ones that are fully colored bottles like these, that is a safe go-to. So now let's organize these. <music> all of my Not Your Mother's products. I have all their shampoo and conditioners in the Naturals line. I did give away some, so maybe not all of them. But I do think that all their conditioners are pretty similar. They all just have different scents and different things that they're supposed to be for. Like this one's supposed to help define curls. This is for hydration. This is to detox. This is for moisture. So depending on what you want, that's what you should buy accordingly. But they all have amazing slip. And as you guys might know, my favorite deep conditioner is the Matcha Green Tea Wild Apple Blossom Butter Mask. And now they have the Curl Talk deep conditioner as well. And you know I love the Curl Talk line. So I have all of them. So my top shelf is complete. All right, we're making progress. I think for my next shelf, I'm gonna go with maybe the moistures. I might do Maui Moisture and Shea Moisture. I think they should get along. They're both drugstore products that have moisture, uh, very affordable. I think they could share an apartment. Let's try it. I have my Maui Moisture Shea Moisture Row. I have all of my shampoo and conditioners. I have some masks and some stylers. Maui Moisture also makes body products. So I have some lotion. I have some body wash. I have more actually in my shower. And some body gels, some scrubs. So I'm going to keep those back here just so I know where they are. And this is what I have left of my Shea Moisture. I have their Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shine Gel, the treatment, the favorite curl enhancing smoothie, some little porosity line, which I think is discontinued. Uh, what else is back here? Some more shampoo, protein treatments. That's all I have left out of my Shea Moisture collection, but Maui Moisture takes up most of the row. I'm gonna leave the Cantu there, if I have a lot of Cantu. I think, I think I'm gonna bring over Camille Rose. <music> Okay, see, this is why we clean. I've never tried this curl stretcher. Didn't even know I had it in here. I haven't tried this Cantu Stay Glue Gel. That's probably would be good for my ponytail. I might need to try that one very soon. What is this? 
style spray frizz free finisher yeah see i haven't even tried any of those so i need to I'm gonna get back to those. But here's my Cantu collection, their natural hair one and their texture line. And then in my Camille Rose section, I have the entire lavender line. Um, I haven't really played with this one too much. I don't really have an opinion, but all the Camille Rose products smell amazing. They smell like dessert, like cake. This honey one, it's a leave-in conditioner and it actually looks like honey. I have their butter gel, I have their shampoos, conditioners, custards. Um, really good ingredients and just the best smelling products like ever. Now this row and this row is just a hot mess. I don't know what I want to put on here. So let's go back to my other shelf. All right, now let's go back to the top of this shelf. Right now I have my Rizos curled, so I do want to stay there. And I forgot that my Curl Keeper bottle is huge, so it needs to be on this top shelf. And it is my favorite. So I'm going to move Briogeo down to the second floor. And then we'll move Curl Keeper up. And then in the middle, I'm gonna put my favorite Dippity Doo Girls with Curls jelly. Starting from the top, I have my favorites. I have my Curl Keeper, the gel. It's one of my favorite gels of all time. I have their styling cream, their slip. The original is also great, so I have two jumbo bottles of those. The Dippity Doo Girls with Curls Jelly is my absolute favorite gel. I think it takes the cake. The only other Dippity Doo products I approve are the mousse because these are the only products with no silicone. The other ones do, so keep that in mind. Right next door, I have all of my Rizos Curls collection, including the deep conditioner, hydrating shampoo, curl defining cream, and the refresh and detangle spray. I think I have like three of each. Love them. Moving on down, I think in the middle, I'm gonna go with the main choice. I have my Bounce Curl collection. The Light Cream Gel is one of my favorite gels. Definitely top five. Right next door, I have the Main Choice. I have their Tropical collection. I only have one of their green tea and carrot ones. I have their Kool-Aid line, uh, the Peach Black Tea. I haven't tried this mask, I don't think. I have to try more Main Choice and let you guys know what I think. Um, but then I also have a bunch of Briogeo products. The Do Not Despair is another great deep conditioner that I recommend. Going on down, I have Carol's Daughter and Trey Lux and IGK. IGK makes my favorite dry shampoo, which really helps with your refresh days to clean your scalp and also to give you volume on day one hair. This is my secret weapon. Trey Lux has amazing products that are sold at select Whole Foods and also their website. My favorite products are the Curl Supreme and the High Definition Styling Gel. These two are amazing stylers. Then right next door, I have my Carol's Daughter collection. These are the only Carol's Daughter's products that I approve that don't have any sulfates, parabens, or silicone. Actually, let, let me check this one. This one didn't say it on the front. Oh, how did you get in here? You have silicone. You must be removed from the shelf immediately. <laughs> Wait, the conditioner doesn't have silicone, but the shampoo does? Oh, that's peculiar. Hold on people, we're making adjustments. We're making adjustments. Sulfate free shampoo. Dimethicone? In the shampoo? Okay, removing the cocoa cream shampoo from my shelf. Well, these are the same thing, just different labels. Interesting. But I can keep the conditioner, which is sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. I have no idea why they would put silicone in the shampoo, but not the conditioner, but you get to stay. But as you can see, these three, no silicone, no silicone, no silicone. These are the only three products from Carol's Daughter that I know that are three lines that are silicone free. Cocoa Cream, Green Supreme, and their Cactus Rose Water. I love these two. I don't know if I've tried this one yet. Mm -hmm. 
The next row I have Myel Organics. This is another one of my favorite deep conditioners, their hydrating conditioner. I have Jenna Dore. Jenna Dore makes one of my favorite gels, which I think is in my bathroom actually, but one of my top five gels is by Jenna Dore Beauty. Next I have Pacifica Pineapple Curls. I love the shampoo and conditioner. I wasn't really a fan of the curl defining cream, but I love obviously anything with pineapples on it, including the curls pineapple or pop and pineapple collection. I really liked this whole collection as well. I like it much better than the original curls blueberry bliss line. Next row, I have Wonder Curl. I haven't used them too much, but I don't know. I'll get back to you. Eva NYC, I just tried those recently. Wasn't blown away, but I'm gonna give it another try. These are a bunch of hairsprays and dry shampoos that I have not tried yet. So these all need to be experimented with very soon. I have my Olaplex, which I definitely recommend for anyone going through heat damage or transitioning. This is supposed to actually help repair your hair. It strengthens it and just fixes everything. So I am a fan of Olaplex. It's just kind of pricey for this little bottle. Next, I have Amika. Don't really have an opinion on these, but they are sulfate, paraben, silicone free. And then I have my small approved Weedad collection, the Vitacurl styling gel, um, the Vitacurl shampoo, the Vitacurl conditioner. These are the only three Weed add products that are sulfate, paraben, silicone free, as well as the advanced climate control humidity gel. These are the only Weed add products that I use. And last but not least, my random section. Everything in here is sulfate, paraben, silicone free. I just haven't tried them yet. So I have some products from OGX, I have Cream of Nature, I have Design Essentials, Eden Body Works. Aveeno, just a bunch of randoms, TGIN, yeah. So I gotta get to experimenting. This is my experimental section. This row is getting pretty congested because <laughs> I'm running out of room. But obviously one of my favorite is Curlsmith. My favorite Curlsmith products are the In Shower Style Fixer and the Co-Wash, which is that big one in the back. I'm also using their scalp line. These deep conditioners are amazing. I use them all the time. I'll probably just put those back in the shower, to be honest. Uh, I have the Inner Sense Organics. I do owe you guys a video on these. I'm trying to fall in love with these products, I just don't think I'm applying them correctly, so stay tuned, but these have very, very natural ingredients. I have a lot of products from Living Proof. I have shampoo, conditioner, um, pretty decent. I don't know if I'm blown away yet, but I have to keep experimenting. Design Essentials, I did like their shampoo and conditioner. Right next door, I have my Lust products. My favorite Lust would probably be the deep conditioner. It's for deep conditioning and repair. And then I also have my Mark Anthony products. These are the only Mark Anthony products that are sulfate, paraben, silicone free. They're silicone free line. But I definitely love the Strictly Curls three times the moisture deep conditioner. This is the only Strictly Curls Mark Anthony product that is silicone free. Like the yellow, yellow ones have silicone. So just keep that in mind. Then my very bottom shelf, I have my raw sugar shampoo and conditioner. I have just about every naughty product. I have the To The Rescue, I have Blonde, I have Wave Hello, I have Color Bomb, so I have all the naughty products that are 97% natural. I have my two Derma E products for scalp relief. I have the one Pattern Beauty conditioner that is silicone free. And then in the back, I have a bunch of temporary colored hairspray. So this will actually make your hair all those different colors. I haven't gone you know, crazy in a long time, but I keep them around for Halloween. And then here are all of my oils, Jamaican black castor oil, argan oil, jojoba oil, um, lavender oil, peppermint, all that's there when I get ready to you know, learn how to use oils better. Okay, so this whole pile right here, <sighs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I would just love if there was a way to just know if they were good by the SKU number, maybe if it was like, if it has the letter B, it's a good batch, but if it has the letter A, it's a bad batch. So that way I could still use some of my favorite products. This is a brand new super cream. Oh. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to watch my last video.
And this pile of products are just products that I'm probably not going to grab for over all the other ones on my shelf. But fortunately, they all are sulfate paraben silicone free. They're just not my faves. These products are all expired and going in the trash. A way for you to know when products expire is by looking for this little symbol here. That actually means that this should be thrown away 12 months after being opened. That's how long this will stay fresh. So if you really want to be good about your products, I'd recommend getting a Sharpie and writing when exactly you opened it so you can keep track of when it's going to expire. When trying to figure out if your products are expired to see if the consistency looks different, if the colors change, or if it smells weird, throw it out. So here is my entire curly hair product collection. And I'm happy to say that every product on both of these shelves are sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. So I don't wanna hear that you guys don't have any options because there's obviously so many products to choose from. And this is me being pretty choosy. Majority of these products already have a full review and tutorial on my channel. So make sure you check out my curly hair playlist to see any other videos you might've missed. That took me much longer than expected, but I'm very happy with my completed organized collection. What do you guys think? Let me know what products you saw that are your favorites. Which ones do you want me to review or try next? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos just about every week. You also can make sure you follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee for daily tips on my Instagram story. You get information there much quicker than you do here on YouTube, but hit that notification bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bianca Renee, today.